Hey beauty, today I'm going to be trying out this wireless automatic curler from Amazon. Not gonna lie, I've already kinda tried it because I was just so curious and I also didn't want to have to struggle on camera, but let's be real, I'll probably still struggle trying to figure this out. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of fashion and beauty content, all of which I try to keep affordable. We're bougie on a budget around here, so if you are too, hit that subscribe button down below. I would love it if you joined our little fam here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn it on and right here on the screen, I actually noticed that the battery, it's only holding like one bar. Hopefully this stays charged throughout my whole head. It has been on the charger for a while, so I'm not sure why it's only at one bar, but we shall see. So you just kind of use these buttons to control it. So so the power button lets you go to each section. I'm gonna put it on Fahrenheit, 300. Does it go higher than 300? It goes to 390. And then it has a side for a right and a left. And you just press the plus and minus button to switch those. It has a timer. It says 12, 14, 16, 18. And then it goes back down to eight. So I'm just gonna leave it on 12 since that's what it automatically did. That thing is beeping, so I'm guessing that means it's starting to heat up. While this heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my hair. We're gonna go in with some dry shampoo and some leave-in conditioner. I've actually really been liking this Batiste dark hair dry shampoo, almost better than my Living Proof. Number one, it's so affordable, but it also comes out dark, which is even better for me. So I just kind of spray that wherever my hair needs, in my roots. Kind of needs it everywhere, so I just try and get all the parts that are gonna be visible. And once I'm done spraying, I just kind of let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna go in with this Moroccan all-in-one leave-in conditioner. It says it instantly detangles 72 hour softness for all hair types. And I've really been liking this, you guys. I just recently got it in from Amazon. I've been using it like every day. It's really nice. So I'm just gonna spritz that through there. I mostly condition my ends but i do like to bring it up in the middle of my hair because that's all color processed as well so i want to give it some hydration this is the dry bar pep rally prime and prep detangler so this actually is a heat protectant and i do spray heat protectant in my hair every time before i add any kind of heat to it so just a light spritz of that it's beeping at me, so I'm guessing that means it's ready. Oh. Oh, it turned off. Okay, so now I'm having to reset it. Well, anyways, I just turned it back on and let it sit. Maybe I shouldn't be turning it on if I feel like it's gonna die on me, but I want it to be hot when I start my hair. Normally, you want to put the curling iron where you want the first curl to start. So I'm just going to put it in through here. Press the button. Makes me so nervous. <laughs> My hair is going to just like get caught and rip out. Okay. There is what that looks like. Should I have just let it? Uh. Do I keep twisting it? What if I keep twisting it? Okay, see my hair uh, got stuck. <laughs> I, I just got so scared that I was gonna have to cut my hair off right here, but I turned it off. When I turned it back on, it released my hair and just let it out. That's a good thing, yay. <laughs> Oh my God. I almost ran out and got Josh. I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> I just got my hair stuck in this thing. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you should have seen me. I freaked out. I went to this mirror and I was like, oh my God. It was stuck in my hair. Did you like put this. too much? I kept pushing it. 
It kept twirling it. And you didn't know you were twirling it? <laughs> Just like twirl. Babe, look at this super intense <laughs> curl here and then no. <laughs> it got stuck right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. She said, look at this thing. <laughs> okay, I just went ahead and straightened it out. I hope this piece of hair curls, but it's hard because my little viewfinder is so small and I didn't feel it twisting, but I have the camera in front of my mirror, so I'm like trying to see and I can't really see that well. But let's try again. Okay. I'm just gonna let it sit there. Is the 12 the timer? It would help if I read the directions. <laughs> Is it on a timer? Okay, my hair did still curl. Let's try another strand. I'm kind of done with that strand, honestly. <laughs> I'm kind of paranoid now, though. You know, I'm not mad at this. Maybe I should just move it down. What if you took it out and it literally burnt your hair so like you only got a piece That's of like my worst fear. Have you seen that video of that little blonde girl curling her hair and she just takes her whole strand of hair off and it's like this long right here. Damn. Have you seen that video? Uh, <laughs> it's a classic. I do low-key really want to make this work because I get ready in our car a lot. Sometimes it's nice to have just like a little touch up on your curls. As with everything, it takes practice. This is a first impression. Why is it beeping at me? Okay, it turned off. What the heck? This would be the right side, right? Let's try to see if doing it this way. I'm telling you, I'm so scared that I'm gonna get my hair caught again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely feel like this way is easier. So I'm reading the instructions after I got one side of my hair done, but it says lay the section of hair through curling chamber and hold down start button to activate the motor to draw hair into curling chamber. Please release the start button when you hear the first beep. Automatic curling is finished when you hear the final beep. And it's eight seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, 14, 16, 18. So I actually had it on 12 the first time, but I moved it down to eight and I'm gonna try this out without having my hair in I'm gonna push it down and see how long it takes to beep oh so it did actually go eight seconds and it automatically stopped but see that's the thing is that I'm so scared of getting my hair caught should I do like this start at the bottom No, I would have to start at the top. It <laughs> but it did only do the end, so I'm gonna try.
Okay, let's see. Why is it, why is it turning off? It just turned off on me. Okay, trying this again. You are supposed to leave it. It stops. Yeah, I just don't know if I like this curl like all the way on the end. I like more of like a mid curl. So see how like relaxed and beachy that is and how bouncy this is. But if you do like this curl, it is actually pretty easy. The only thing is that this thing keeps turning off on me. So let me switch it and try to get the other side done. I don't hate it, but it's also not how I normally do my hair. Whoa, it's kind of growing on me. Let's just finish the whole side like this and we'll see. Is that too much hair? at me again. Okay, that one never beeped at me at all. I'm not sure why. It's going so good for a second. Let's see, maybe it's just too big. Ah. Ah. Let's see, what is happening? Maybe because I was holding it? Okay, so it doesn't stop if the hair gets caught. Let's see. Why? Why is it doing this? It finally died on me and the timer stopped at 24.45. I charged it overnight one time and then I noticed that the charge was only showing one bar. So I went ahead and plugged it again for about an hour before my makeup today. So it should have been charged. I feel like if I knew how to use this product, it would have been a good amount of time to just quickly get it done. Right now I'm a little 
leaning towards it's a fail, but again, I'm gonna try and use this throughout the week and hopefully learn how to use this a little better so that I don't have to return it because again, it's wireless, it's a curling iron, I can take on the go and do it in the car. It seems so convenient that I'm trying to make fetch happen. So hopefully it does. Hit that subscribe button down below if you want updates on this. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.